now the transposons what are the transposons and what is their important in the molecular biology or in the life cycle of the viruses or the virology first of all what is the transposons this is the sequence of dna which is always changing its position within the genome or within the nucleic acid it is short sequence of genome which can be of uh, some of the base pairs but it is always changing its position within the genome or within the dna sequence it was first discovered by the barbara mcclintock in about 1940 she discovered that there are some naughty dna sequences or naughty pairs of the dna which are not present at one place of the genome and they are always changing their position later we came to know that there are two types of the transposons are present uh, you can say that not the types maybe the two groups of the transposons are present inside the viruses one is called simple transposons and others are retro transposons yes you see in the figure provided the transposons there are interrupted dna sequences and there is one is single transposons what is the difference between the simple transposons and what is the difference between the interrupted dna sequences the retro transposons simple transposons are present in most of the prokaryotes which are the simple organisms they don't go undergo reverse transcription they will just go by the normal way of the replication translation and transcription and genome of the anterior bacteria phage mu is the classical example of the simple transposons then they closely resemble to the retroviral genome we already studied the retroviral genome very importantly uh, very detailed because it is most important from the retro spectral point of view because it's uh, concerned with the rt pcr and rt reverse transcriptase function of the viruses the retroviruses function is different with the other viruses so it is closely resembles with the retroviral genome and so they are called the retro transposons bound by the long repeat units move by the means of transcription reverse transcription and integration the simple transposons they don't undergo with the reverse transcription however the retro transposons they can move by the reverse transcription normal transcription and integration mechanism they are found in most of the eukaryotes on the other hand the simple transposons are of course are only present in the prokaryotes and the classical example for the retro transposons is the metaviridae and pseudoviridae uh, two different genera which contains the retro transposons as you can see in the figure provided the genes in the retroviral dna and viral retroposons the retroviral dna it has gag proteins the pole proteins and then the enveloped proteins there are the internal regions in between them similarly there is one more example for the yeast and then the drosophila there are two examples for the retroviral uh, retro transposons now the properties of the transposons responsible for high mutation promote the genetic rearrangements like deletion inversion and duplication etc these genetic rearrangements are very important for the life cycle of any viruses or i can say any human any human being or any organisms because they are the most important from the mutation point of view and mutation can change positively or negatively for the genome of an organisms so the transposons are always promoting the genetic rearrangements which can cause a lot of diseases often accompanied by the replication they control their own transposition functions they don't go along with the host or they don't go with the viruses they only always use their own transposition functions just like you see the diagram the transposons the genes they have the invertebrate repairs and then inverted repairs and they can go towards the chromosome or the chromosome towards the genes and similarly they can have the direct repeats